Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Between the bookends, I know I'm dating myself because many 21st century persons are hardly familiar with the ancient items on a library shelf called bookends. No, we are not talking about the ends of the book. We are talking about those two items that serve to keep a row of books upright. You typically find them on the shelves in a library. Oops. Please don't ask me what's a library. It's been around long before AI and Google. <laughs> Bookends are important because they indicate a beginning of the row of books and the end of the same row. But what's in between the bookends are books, and they are very important. That's what I want us to talk about, the bookends that define the uprightness of the books on the shelf. Are we ready? Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Acts 1 verses 7 to 11. I just want to talk with you about the books between the book ends. Let me say it another way. Jesus ascended to heaven with a bunch of his followers witnessing that dramatic departure. Then two men dressed in white stood beside them and announced that the same Jesus you saw ascending into heaven, he will come back in similar fashion as you see him going up to heaven. Book ends. He left that day and the two men, also known as angels, just told them that Jesus is coming back again. In fact, he's coming back to take a group of persons called children of God up to heaven to live with him forever. I love it. But until that day of unparalleled joy, we live in between the bookends. How is that? This is not easy because like the books on the shelf, the books are expected to stay upright. In the same way, we are expected to stand strong in between the bookends, his departure and his return. Then there are some books in good condition and others that show a bit of wear and tear. Let's talk like we're grown folks. Most persons, like majority of regular folks like you and me, when they get married, they have it all planned out that they are going to live happily ever after. And then drama happens. Someone loses a job. Someone gets sick. Another person loses the old car that they inherited from a relative. Somebody loses a child through sickness or your house was damaged by a tornado. Do you know that Christian in your church who has had a string of family deaths over a short period of time? All these and more are called trials or tribulations. This doesn't make sense and you are a Christian, you think. This is not what you signed up for. Oh, but if you think back, Jesus did promise that things would get pretty challenging. It's just the way some bookshelves look, with some books tattered and worn and discolored, but they are still between the bookends. But someone, maybe the librarian, will come around and straighten the books on the shelf, just like how the Holy Spirit would send someone to help bring some relief to your list of challenges. Trust me, those challenges won't last forever. Relief is on the way. It's like Paul, the one that went all out in serving God. Paul had some rough times in his life, like being severely flogged on several occasions, stoned on a few occasions, three times he suffered shipwreck, and the graphic list is so difficult to read. But that's one Christian dude who would never give up. Rather, he would pick up the pieces and continue to serve God. If you think those experiences suggest that God is mad with you or that he has deserted you, think again. 
always remember that Jesus said he would never leave you nor forsake you. And what does that mean? Literally, that means that though you can't see him, you will soon find out that he is with you all the time. There are times when things are going well, life is good, and you are prospering. Financially, things could not be better. Your marriage is going well, your kids are excelling in school, and everything is great. No, God is not showing favoritism. God knows each of us, and the Bible said, no good thing will he withhold from them who walk uprightly. It is easy to think that God favors that person more than you, but that's not it. Both of you are living between the book ends, some good-looking books and some worn books. But both of you are in the one group, the group of God's children who are living between two events, mainly Jesus' ascension into heaven nearly 2,000 years ago, and as sure as a steady rain, Jesus is coming back one day. So what do you do while you are part of the scores of people who are locked in a state of trials, of struggles, while there are others who seem to be living on easy street? I tell you, some books might be fallen while others are upright, but both set of books are living between two bookshelves. Some books might be nice and clean and others might be tattered and worn, but both sets of books are living between the bookshelves. Don't ever forget it, that you are being held between the ascension of our Lord and Savior on one end and the promise of the long-expected return of Jesus Christ at the other end. And that second one is so, so close. Don't lose heart. Don't envy those who are having a good life. Stay calm and know that this same Jesus who went away is coming back for you. He is coming back for you. Don't lose hope. Don't be discouraged. Don't take things for granted. The first book end has occurred and the second book end confidently carries a promise. I'll say it again, that Jesus Christ is coming back again. Just you wait and see.